I'll show you how you can totally stop using Anatons default form trigger node and still build forms that are fully customized, beautiful and secure that can accept data into your Anaton just by following these three steps. So let's head over to form zero. So you can just type form zero dot app into the browser and it will be taken to this site. So it's a tool that I built, which lets you create privacy first forms. First things first, let me just log in. So I've already logged in. Let me just go to the dashboard and click on create form. Let me just create my form here. So I'd be taken to this interface where I can start building the forms, right? So on the left sidebar, you can see all the different kinds of fields that we can just drop into our form, starting from the most basic text input field to the most advanced file upload field, right? Let me just drop these two into my form. And then once you click on this settings icon, you can start customizing each and every part of it. And even for the file uploads field, right? You have a bunch of options here. And once you're happy, all you have to do is just to click on this preview button to take a look at how the end form is going to look like. After that, you can start submitting it. So it says webhook not configured. Since we have not configured our webhook, let me just do that first so that we can test submissions before publishing the form. So here you can just add in your Anatens webhook. So what I can do is just go back to my uh, Anaton dashboard and I don't need this anymore. Let me just delete this and replace this with a webhook node. Click on this. Let me change the method to post, copy the URL. And over here, let me just paste it, test connection and save. So just make sure sample request so that it just checks whether the webhook is alive or not. And once it confirms it, it just saves uh, the webhook. So this form that we have right now is connected to our webhook and get back to preview and test. You can just upload a file here. Perfect. So now let me just submit it again. Okay, it says thank you. And if we just check our Anaton, right? Perfect, we have received uh, the, the form data. If we just take a look at the JSON. Over here, it says my name. And in the binary, we have received the file that we just uploaded. Perfect, let me just close this. And that's it, you have created a form and also connected the webhook. The last step is to share a form. Right? And here's the public link that we can share it with anyone. And also we can embed it into, into our websites using these three different methods. Right? And that's it. This is how you can easily create forms and start accepting data into your N8N. Right? I'm actively working on adding more and more features to make building and managing forms even easier. So if there's something specific you would like to see, feel free to let me know to check out form0.app and start building your secure and customized forms for N8N today.